So today I'll be getting be working arms, triceps, biceps. So I'll get this case started. Here we go. I'm gonna start off the first exercise with close grip bench. Now close grip bench is an awesome exercise to really put a lot of mass on the tricep. There's good accessory exercise, push downs, dumbbell extension, overhead extensions, but this I find is the best to really, really put on a lot of size really quick. So let's start it. like to start off with a nice warm light warm up even just the bar just get the blood flowing into the muscle and now we can put some weight on all right safety first half absolutely
next exercise. Yeah, my tricep are fun. So the next exercise we're gonna be doing now is a barbell skull crusher, but on an incline. So, you're probably wondering, why is it on an incline? What I learned from one of my coaches before is that if you do a barbell skull crusher on an incline, what happens is it takes a lot of the strain off your shoulder. Because if you're doing it on a flat, you're putting your hands all the way back, extended now past your shoulders, and trying to do that movement. So, if you're just beginning this exercise, or you've been doing it a while, try this. And actually, you're gonna feel a lot more tension on your triceps. All right, this is the last set, and then we're gonna move on to biceps. All right, here we go. Oh my god. Triceps about to blow up. Okay, let's do biceps. So what we're gonna do next is standing dumbbell curl. This is actually one of my favorite exercises. And we're gonna do them alternating. We'll do four sets. Hopefully keeping off the next take for 60. But uh, we'll see. Alright. Now, one good thing is if you do triceps first, which is, you should you should do triceps first because it is a bigger muscle group. You'll notice when you do biceps or you begin to do biceps, you get this crazy pump as opposed to just doing biceps by themselves. So.
don't judge the form. It's heavy. Anything above 50, it's not easy. But four reps, not bad. All right, moving on. All right, so we're gonna do the dumbbell concentration curl. This is actually one of my favorite bicep exercises. Now, maybe I didn't mention this, but I honestly really don't like working arms. <laughs> some some people, they don't like back, some people, they don't like legs. As you know, I love working my legs, but my arms, I'll do it once a week. If you're probably wondering how many times do you train your arms, just once a week, tricep, biceps, because I get so much activation when I go on heavy on the bench press, or as you've seen earlier, our first exercise, close grip bench press. Um, but yeah, once a week, that's about it. If I'm really, really ambitious and I really want to blow up my arms quick and get a good pump or something like that, I'll probably do it two times a week, but you'll really see that. Anyhow, um, okay, so let's do our first set here. Now, one little tip you've probably heard before on so many different fitness channels is when you're squeezing at the top, just don't lift the weight. Squeeze your pinky and, and turn inwards, and you'll get a lot better of a contraction on your peak on the outer head of your bicep. All right, here we go. Set one. Now, if you're wondering why I'm over in this corner, it's because you can't see on the camera, but there's a mirror right in front of me, and this is my little spot I like to uh, work my concentration curls, so. <laughs> take some of the load off and I'll show you in a second. So with the assisted pull up here, what we're gonna be doing is biceps, bicep kind of like curls, mimicking it. So what happens is I'm not gonna go fully up to the top like you, you know, you say, oh, you're supposed to pull up. You're gonna go all the way to the top, pull up. No, I'm actually stopping just about parallel on the top there because what happens is I'm focusing more on the actual contraction as I'm pulling at the top as opposed to just pulling my body weight and not feeling the actual muscle, okay? And then also, I'm gonna, on the bottom, go slow on the eccentrics and really pull. Yes, the people out there criticize, oh, you know, you're, you're, there's, you're taking some weight off, you're cheating, no. I'm actually trying to feel my contraction as opposed to just pull my whole body weight up and not feel anything, okay? So we're gonna do our first set now.
All right, everyone, that's the arm workout for today. My God, my arms are pumped. <laughs> Holy moly. Uh, I probably grew into my arms just by doing those concentrations and then at the very end there, really focusing and dialing in on every fiber of my, of my biceps. If you follow along with me with this workout, well, you, at the end you should be feeling the same way. Your arms should be on fire. All right, um, so I actually had to make this, this clip on my iPhone because uh, my, my GoPro died down there. Um, but I think, actually speak for itself, I'm amazed. I'm actually, it's been two weeks since I actually worked my arms, so it's good to be back. You know, it's funny, like I said earlier, I don't do much arms. I don't really like to do arms, but when I do them and I'm finished, it feels good. It kind of, you know, boosts your confidence and it just looks amazing after just a nice pump. So if you like this video, if you like my videos, my channel, please do not forget to subscribe, like, comment, and if you have any questions, let me know. I can help you with some tips. This is actually my second vlog. I'm really happy with how it's going. And just to keep going, you know, uh, until people find me, get out there, get myself out there. And again, thanks, uh, thank you all for watching. Appreciate your time. You have a wonderful day. God bless.